In the last video, we have seen different uh, processing options in, in the tabular model uh, at a database level. So in this video, we will learn about how we can automate uh, this process. So before going to that topic, let me show you two more things. So let's have a look at the table level. What are the processing options are available? If you click process table. So here you can see we have seen a process default, process full, process data. Uh, process data is only uh, process the data and it does not uh, take uh, our relationships, calculated columns uh, into account and, and, and uh, no hierarchy as well. Uh, data defragmentation. Uh, data defrag, uh, what this option does, if you are frequently creating partitions, uh, then this option, when you select this option, it will remove all those uh, dictionary entries that are no longer uh, needed or no longer exist. And then it rebuilt all the dictionary entries. So this option is only uh, you have to use if you are working with uh, creating and, and adding partitions, right? So these are the options, processing options available at the uh, table level. So let's take one more. For example, if I click this table and go to the partitions. So what are the processing options available at uh, partitions level? If you select any partition here, and uh, here you can see one button process. At partition level, we have these options. Default, full, data, clear. And, and the new option is process add. This option is used for the incremental load. Whenever you select this option, uh, for example, you have uh, like 50,000 rows available in the fact internet sale. And uh, then uh, 10,000 rows are again, newly rows were added. When and when you select this option, the tabular model automatically create one um, partition, a new partition, and then merge with the existing partition. So these are all the options that uh, I have discussed with you regarding how to process data at partition level, table level, and database level. So. Let's go to our next topic, to how to automate this process. For example, if we click here at the database and uh, then we click process database and here you can see we have different options here. For example, we are interested in the process default. And uh, if you click here, there is one button here, script. If you click and see script action into new, Query window. Click here. And here you can see we are getting oh, one XMLA query. This is the script to process uh, our database. So if you click execute, it will execute the, it will fill all the tables and everything depending on the option that you have chosen here. Here the type is automatic. And if you choose the full or the other, so the type will be according to this selection, right? So one option is we can just uh, execute this script manually, like once a day or uh, once a week. And uh, if we want to automate this process, then what we have to do, we need to uh, copy this script and go to the database engine and here we have sql server agent if you expand it there are some job so we need to right click here new job and here we can write uh, filling tabular model this is the name and uh, the, this is the owner and the category. 
we have to add click here steps new and we need to add um, new new step and here we have to write the name of the step data fill you can write any name here and then we need to choose the type the type will be SQL Server Analysis Services command this one so run as a SQL Server agent service account so we need to paste the command that we have uh, copied this is the command and we need to copy paste and here we need to um, type the name of the server the analysis server right so copy and paste click ok ok uh, one step we just uh, forgot we need to um, refresh and here is filling tabular model we need to go to the properties and here is one step that we have uh, forgotten this is scheduling and here we have to click new schedule and uh, run daily daily run for example daily run this is the name of the job and uh, here is the frequency we have to run daily you can choose any daily weekly or monthly depending on the nature of your data so here you can specify the number of days or uh, you can say okay it should be run after two days or three days or you can say here you can write the timing or you can say okay you need every day but uh, one hour two hour or minutes or depending on you it all uh, depends on the requirement so we can say okay let's do one time every day and click okay okay so that's all so that's how we can configure the processing option automatically via sql server agent there are some other ways as well if you are if you know the ssis uh, integration services we can also uh, use uh, ssis jobs to automate this process as well but uh, the ssis is not under the scope of this course so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you